In this final video, we will look at OCLC's WorldCat Local. Again, I will share some advantages and limitations and show you WorldCat in action. Some of the advantages is it's designed on a central in index and, and doesn't have to point out to various sources of in information. It does have extensive consortia in integration uh, from their experience working on various services that incorporated large numbers of libraries previously. And it's also considered a possible catalog replacement uh, by some organizations um, because you can embed and incorporate some of the traditional catalog functions directly in the interface. Uh, some of the limitations compared to the other discovery services is it does offer less facets and features and, that some of the advanced searchers may enjoy or need. And a thing to consider is, are you an existing OCLC customer? If you're not, this might not be the best product uh, for you to consider. Let's now look at OCLC's WorldCat Local in action. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Ohio State University's search. And as I've done in the previous searches, we'll do an example and go directly into the interface um, so that you could see the features and functionality. As you notice, on to some of the, compared to some of the other uh, discovery services, one of the nice things about WorldCat um, Local is that it's a very clean interface, um, it's almost Google-like in its appearance. Down the left-hand side, you'll see some of the facets and resources available to you. At this point, the facets are very similar to what we've experienced in the other search engines, from format and author, year, language, and topic. Here's audience. Not all the discovery services have audience, so this would be a, a, one of the unique ones uh, to WorldCut Local. You'll see here the ability to save to list, which is a nice feature in here. Um, so you can embed uh, a, a list of your items. You can gather things. And also, you'll see in the upper right hand corner here, the ability to actually embed your, your chat service, so if your organization offers a chat service. You'll see under each item, additions and formats. Uh, what WorldCat Local does is group things. So if it's bringing in information from several sources, it'll gather those additions together. And you see if I click on this, it's going to show you all the options of format and additions available for that item and the library that contains them. If I go back to my search results, the other ability it has is to distinguish between different levels of service. WorldCat Local is considered a possible solution for many consortia because it allows you to consider these levels of service and demonstrate each one separately. So a user could actually search just the, the local catalog. They can search the largest, the, the next level of consortium. They can search multiple consortiums, so Highlink has multiple access points, and then you can also search all the materials available through WorldCat Local. So it really offers you the ability as a user to consider how quick do I need things, where are they available, and what things do I need available to me when I need them.